we have an opioid epidemic right now. A large part of that is due to the drugs that we prescribe and the way that they act in the body. I know people personally in my life who struggle with addiction. I think most people do. It's just such an important problem right now and something that anybody who studies drugs really needs to work on and think about and, and find uh, solutions for. When you think about opioid receptor activation, there's two major pathways. One of the pathways leads to the pain relief that you experience, and the other pathway can lead to addiction. And so one of the big moments right now in drug development is trying to bias those pathways so that we can get more pain relief with less addictive properties. So what we're doing is we developed a tool that changes the signaling after activation by the drug so that you get more of the response towards the pain relief side of the pathway without changing at all the addictive properties pathway. This tool is called iGoloco, and it's an inhibitor of a class of proteins called golocoproteins. It turns out that they're really involved in regulating opioid receptor signaling. So by inhibiting the golocoproteins, we increase the pain relief response. In this vial, we have 20 nanomolar fentanyl, 20 nanomolars, that's its concentration. For any other drug, that would be very dilute. For fentanyl, it is very strong. And we're going to pump it into this holder right here so that this can then pump it onto the cells in the plate. This is the normal, and then the blue line above it is when you add our tool. So it's been really exciting to see that the tool that we've developed, we're already seeing its impact. We can see how the responses increase by 150% when we add this tool to the cells. It's been amazing being able to do this work here. I feel like I've really gotten to get my hands dirty and learn new things. And this lab in particular has been really great about giving undergraduates an opportunity to work independently. Being able to practice experimental design skills has helped me realize whether this is something I want to do in my future.